Valuable lessons were learned in the aftermath of that deadly and costly natural disaster. Now there are earthquake early warning systems and first responders have new safety tools. Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez got a first-hand look. I worked for KTTV during the Northridge quake. One of my most searing memories is helping firefighters with our camera lights as they searched for people under the rubble. We spoke to some of those firefighters again today. It was just victim after victim after victim. And Retired LA City firefighter Mike Henry remembers the Northridge quake. That used to be a third floor. The Meadows apartment complex, which collapsed, killing 16 people. What's left of the first floor is now about two and a half feet high. A second floor windows to bedrooms were now in, lined up with first floor windows to bedrooms. The damage was overwhelming, as were heroic efforts to save people. Everybody's trying to crawl under the building, as you see, and they're screaming, and they're trying to see if they hear anybody down here. He had to lift up the concrete, which is, I believe was three parking structures of concrete. At the Northridge Mall, to find a father of five who was operating a street sweeper in the parking structure when the quake hit. And that was probably the most uh, vivid moment that I can remember, is getting him out and bringing him up on the gurney, and thank God that he was still alive. But at least 57 people died on January 17th of 1994. <coughs> 30 years to the day, LAFD shows us modern equipment that's making a difference in rescues. We have a 360 camera. It transmits a uh, signal over to an iPad and an instant commander. So you'll see here that camera that's going to go in there. We could actually move that camera and control it right from here. One of the things that is very different from when the Northridge quake happened is this. Back then, the search and rescue teams were at an infancy in this city. Now they're full-blown, and you can see them practicing how to get somebody from a collapsed freeway, which happened back then. The five, that's, uh, that's what this has fallen onto. The five freeway, where it connected with the 14, collapsed. We do have one fatality uh, if that freeway collapsed. Today, more powerful and effective tools are part of the LAFD arsenal. Still, the most important lesson? We've had a few earthquakes here in the last couple weeks. So if you're not prepared right now, you better get prepared because it's going to come again. And that's for sure. If you want to find out more about how to be ready, LAFD.org has great resources. So does FoxLA.com. I'm Christina Gonzalez, Fox 11 News.